so it's another beautiful day here in Singapore and I actually went for a swim right in my hotel it's right over there and I actually found this place very close because swimming works up an appetite you guys and I am hungry this place crab wet imperial dining has all you can eat dim sum oh my god so much different options and all for the price of I think it's like $28 in SG money so maybe like $25 in USD really good price do you know how much dim sum costs i can go to a dim sum restaurant in um, california and the bill would be close to a hundred like very very easily so i'm excited to try this food out let's go check it out Yay! so i just got sat down and this is the entire menu the all-you-can-eat price comes with everything here. There's a back side too. So we got steamed buns, we got fried stuff, we got congee, we got baked desserts, rice noodles, pan fried and noodles and rice. Let me show you. It is, oh my God. I don't even know if I can even try out the entire menu. There's so many different options. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe you can get all of this for one price. That's crazy. So I'm, def I'm gonna start off with this. All the entire steamed dim sum menu, they all look so good. Looks like these are um, limited one per order though. The Shanghai pork and then the steam crash xiao long bao. But yeah, it looks amazing. Ooh, look at those pictures. Wow. So they are preparing it right here. It's gonna come out in these beautiful steam containers, but all of their dumplings and stuff are house made. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Guys, here comes all my dim sum here. Oh my god. Dude, I am so excited. Oh, look at this. So many buns. So much dumplings. All the good stuff. Yes. We got more over there as well. This looks beautiful. My goodness. I cannot wait to get started on this. This looks so freaking good. I don't even know where to start, but this is the entire steamed menu. I guess we'll start off with this because I love Shaolin Paul. This is looks so juicy, and I want to eat it before it gets rough. Mm. We put some of the ginger and soy sauce on top. It's so juicy. Oh my god. For all you can eat dim sum, this is really good quality. This is a classic. Me and my sister would eat so much of these shallow ball. I have videos of me eating a hundred shallow balls in like less than 10 minutes. These are like so addicting. Mm. Let me try this other one. This one is the crab one. actually so much filling in there. Ooh. Ooh, this one's chewy. You can actually taste the shrimp and the crab. A lot of delicious filling. This actually has more filling than Ding Tai Kong. I am not a fan of Ding Tai Kong, so. This actually is better. I feel like in time films, like, um, dumplings are like way too small. Oh, this one is a stack of different sizes. Okay. These are like the bigger ones. Because I guess that's the uh, special. So on whenever you have an order, you can only order one of that. Those are the special. That's not all you can eat, unfortunately. But let's try this one. This is the steamed ribs with black blue sauce. I love these growing up. Like my dad would order this all the time for me. Mm. Ooh. It's so rich and savory and you can really taste this. Um, it's marinated with this black bean sauce. The meat around the bone is the best. Fatty, juicy, so good. Oh my God, it's hot. This, let this cool for a little bit because my hands are like hurting from that while well, I would go for the other ones. I don't know what this is, but it's a big bow and I love bows. So we're gonna find out what's inside together. Let's 
pork. It's a big pork bun.
tastes like to me, but red beans also very classic. I actually ate so many of these here in Singapore, but the 7-Eleven sells these red bean buns and I've been eating a few of these in the morning. I think the 7-Eleven lady knows me right now. She like gives me a look every time I go in the morning to get some breakfast. I'm like, she's like, you really like buns, don't you? I'm like, it tastes good. So she recognizes me now. Okay, now, I am not a fan of this, but I ordered it anyway to show you guys. <coughs> this is chicken feet. I'm not turned off by the fact it's chicken feet. I just think it's like so hard to eat. And it's really just like, you're just kind of like eating gelatin. It's just skin. Like the flavor is really good. It's spicy, it's sweet. And because it's so normal to me, I don't, I'm not scared that the fact it's sweet, but I just don't feel like there's much of a point eating it. Cause it's not, I, you're just like eating skin. <coughs> there's no texture to it really. And in my opinion, it just tastes like a really, really soggy chuchado. See like I'm barely, You kind of just like suck on it. It's really like not much to eat, but it is really good quality because you, you see how easily the skin comes off. That means they cooked it really well. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's chicken feet. Yeah, I don't know. It's just if it's here. I don't hate it, but I'm never going to order it on my own accord. I just wanted to show you guys. It's a very classic Dixon's dish, so it is what it is. But, but you see what I mean? Like, why am I wasting my time eating this when I can eat another dumpling or something? Because these are so much better. This is my favorite one at yeah, dumpling places usually. This is um, shumai, which is basically um, filled with pork wrapped in the skin, and there's always like a little bit of fish roll on top. They also sell this at the 7-Eleven here. I've been ordering so at the 7-Eleven, I always get the bowels, the shoe mice. And I think this is a different flavor. Mm. This one is a little bit fishier. Uh, this one has more shrimp. Yeah, I think that's like a seafood one. And this is a pork one. I'm eating this just because I want to finish this game as soon as possible. Like, I'm not going to miss this at all. I just don't want to waste food, you know? The flavor is addicting though. It's really good flavor. Like I said, the sweetness. It's like a sweet soy sauce.
tastes like a little surprise. You never know what's inside. You gotta open it up. It's like perfect for me. Ooh, it's char ball. Oh my god. So this is a basically barbecue pork bun. Mm. Oh. The meat here is more shredded. It's a little different than I expected. It's not bad. The flavor is very sweet. And I have to like compare it to an American thing. It tastes like a um, barbecue shredded pork sandwich. That's what it tastes like. Except like lighter, because you know it's Asian food. Asian food is always lighter. It's not as heavy on the sauce. And then of course, instead of a regular burger patty, it's in buns, and these are very soft and fluffy. And I don't know, man. I think I just invented something. Dipping the buns in this meat sauce is so good. still so good after this many pieces. all done i ordered some desserts we're gonna get to that all right guys i am doing a challenge to myself this is the durian egg tart you know when it's like in in this the durian is not as prominent so hopefully i won't taste too much of it i've actually never tried durian before it just smells so bad but let's see i smell the durian okay i'm actually very afraid to try this <laughs> mm. 
oh my god, this is like a weird sour. Honestly, it tastes like what it smells like. I don't know what people are saying. I do not believe them when they say dairy is good. I feel like dairy, oh, oh my god. I feel like dairy is such an acquired taste. Not for me. Okay, but, uh, oh my god. All right, well, that was my durian challenge for the day. I am never trying it again. So at my hotel, it actually says no durian allowed. But this is their mango pudding. The mango pudding looks great. Let's try this. Ooh. It's a little um, coating on the bottom. Mmm. There we go. Uh, now this I can get jiggy with. Durian, no. Mango, good. Oh, wow. It actually has a lot more texture than I um, originally thought it'd be. I thought it was gonna be like very, very light, but it's actually very like studious. It's like, how do I explain this? It's not nearly fudge, but it's not jello. It's a little tougher than jello and lighter than fudge. Whatever it is, it's really good. So for your price, of this place, all you can eat. Oh, definitely worth it. Mm, I love this. And you know, if you want to challenge yourself to eat durian, then you know, but not for me. Durian definitely was something you guys got to try out if you ever visit Singapore. And uh, I'm never going to eat durian again. I don't care. I do not like it. It tastes exactly like what it tastes like. It smells like, and. Uh, no, it's no for me, but everything else super delicious. So definitely check them out. And um, yeah, if you happen to check them out, let them know I sent you. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise. I've got clothing, prints, and stickers all up on there. And make sure to check out my social media, my Facebook page. Um, I do a lot of live streaming and on my Instagram page. I do a lot of giveaways and on my Twitter page. I also give a shout out to where I might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey okay and then check out my other videos and again make sure you subscribe thank you so much for watching guys see you next time bye bye